Motion VFX just released Cine Studio, and today we are taking a look at their plugin MRoto AI. I have filmed three different clips, one that I think is probably going to be easy, one that's probably going to be medium, and one that's probably going to be hard for the MRoto AI to rotoscope. Let's see how it does. So I have my three video clips, easy, medium, and hard, and now you go over to effects, MRoto AI. So let's put it on the first clip. So for right now, we'll put it on merged, and we'll put it on accurate. Now we have the pin to draw. The cool thing is you now draw a line over what you want to track. So as you can see we got most of it on the first try and now we just fill in the rest. You can even zoom in just to double check that everything is filled. You come over to the tracker part and click track forwards. It basically stayed still in this clip and just moved barely so it should be Hopefully easy for the plugin. Very interested to see how it does on the last one because I moved a lot, did a lot of motion blur, went out of frame, so it'll be very interesting to see how it does. All right, there we go. It finished. As you can see, it follows me the whole time. And you got these settings over here: smoothness, shrink, expand, blur, invert mask. So that's a really cool way to be able to mask out the background. So now, if you go from merge to masked video that looks awesome just put a blue background there we go that's so much faster than it, it would take for me to mask frame by frame as i'm sure you're all aware that can take forever in final cut pro all right here's the second take this is the medium shot i moved around just a little bit let's see how m roto ai does what i just realized is you also have this tool right here where if you click the arrow you can then go to a brush and you can change the size so if you're just trying to paint the background makes it very easy. I definitely prefer the stroke pin where you can just literally draw a line over everything and it automatically creates the mask. Wow, now that's fast. Again, I'll just zoom in to double check everything. You can see my t-shirt's basically the same color as the couch and look how amazing it's doing. So I actually should have not erased that. That's actually part of my t-shirt. As you can see, they also have the same thing with the eraser. You can just do a stroke or you can use it like a paintbrush. All right, so everything looks good. And now the fun part, you track forward. This one's cool because I'm moving around a lot more. You're able to see a lot easier how it's working. Since in, in the easy footage, I really wasn't moving that much. But in this one, I'm moving a bunch so you can see as it tracks as I move. All right, there we go. A spot or two right here looks like it might have blended the t-shirt in with the couch. Nope, I think that's my t-shirt. Wow, yeah, I literally had no problem. <laughs> that's awesome. Precision is actually on fast, so that's pretty impressive. So I have to go to masked video. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. As you can see with the blue background. All right, and now the final shot. This is the one I'm most interested in seeing because I move around a lot. All right, let's add the roto. All right, so actually here's a good example of just going to the brush and now just fill in the rest of the mask. And now I just zoom in, make sure everything is covered. Now for the fun part, let's see how it does. All right, so now it's revealing my hand. Let's see if it's able to stay with my hand. Wow. It is. Oh, there we go. As you can see, tiny little spots, but I mean, for just literally adding a stroke and hitting track forward, this is incredible. But right there, there's a little bit. But again, I was not expecting for this to be perfect on this one because of how much I move around. And honestly, you probably won't get a lot of footage like this, especially if you're aware of you're going to be trying to mask something out and you're not using a green screen you'll know to just not move around like crazy but still it's doing pretty incredible especially if you're just adding stuff behind you and not a full background if it misses little spots here and there it really doesn't matter wow that's incredible it is able to stay on my arm when i go out of frame all right, so it is finished. As you can see, it did incredible. It way past my expectations. I thought for sure the second there'd be motion blur, it would not be able to keep up. So this is 
absolutely incredible. This is what it looks like just fully masked. Incredible. Just to get a better look of it, this is with a background. You can go back into the footage and fill in that spot and there you go. It's now gone and it still plays back normal. That's it for this video. As you can see, Mroto AI is incredible. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Please consider commenting and liking and subscribing as it will help this channel to grow. And please let me know of any tutorials you'd like to see in Final Cut Pro X on this channel. And thank you so much for watching.